Hi, yeah, I'm Stuart. I'm the team leader here at the Vauxhall Centre. I'm just going to give you a wander around our building to see what goes on and talk about what we're doing. Okay. So, in through the front doors, off to the Vauxhall Centre. Okay, so this is our reception here. Rachel. It's okay, what we used. <laughs> The front of the building is part of the City Children, Eden Children's Centre, that's separate from the Vauxhall Centre. So, one corner all the way through, Children's Centre rooms here, and we've got our IT room this way. Children's Centre has a sensory room there, which can be hired out through those if necessary. Disability Rights Norfolk have a permanent base with us, so you can book appointments there if you need to. That's for benefits advice, stuff like that. This is our teaching room for, for our team. We've got 14 PCs in here with our own server. Um, we'll probably reduce this to 10 soon to make that a more space and a better teaching room. Uh, we have here a lounge activities area. So this is our lounge area, that's, that's for our own membership really, but again, people can come through there. And books, we have a regular book sale to raise money for charity here as well. Just hide away from Dave, he doesn't want to be filmed, our site manager. He's up through. This is our board of stuff that's going on. So this shows all our rooms that are available and the, uh, and the bookings during the course of the week. You can come through, Caroline. Training kitchen here. So this is wheelchair accessible. It is available for rent. We have classes on here through adult education, our own reopenment cooking groups, and also the children's centre do one-to-one -one cooking in here as well. And so it is available to rent if you like. Um, we've got an information office here. Information Services and also a Council Information Centre and you can get general information on here about the centre, information etc if you're in the building. Sunlight Cafe. So it's lunchtime right now. So it's a regular uh, lunchtime meal and that is provided by City College was for their students as well. So they teach, they learn in here while they're providing meals for our Members, that's open 9 to 3 as a cafe open to the public. Small courtyard, but that's mostly for the children's centre use, really. And then, really, we're looking at rooms that might be available as teaching rooms, whatever. So, this is our what we call, uh, Winchester Suite. Uh, so, it's a fairly large room, as I said, various groups going on here. And we have meeting groups in here in the evenings as well. So, our main business, if you like, for our members at the moment is 9 to 3. But after a clean up between then, about six o'clock, it's open for evening groups then, which meet up here, and again, there's rooms are sort of available to book if that's what you need. So, so we've got our news for us here. Uh, it's a general box of certain information and some community information as well. So that sort of backs up the, the desk there. And also a PC available for um, Norfolk County Council information as part of the Council Information Centre. Halfway down. Deaf Connections is there through a separate entrance, but it is connected to this Vauxhall Centre building. We have a room here which we now call the Sussex Room, just as a teaching room, fairly plain. And we hope uh, next year after September that room will be the base for City College and their health and social care students to be based here through the course of the week. So they'll be working here, doing their studies and providing volunteers for the centre at the same time. This is our main hall area, nice large space for whatever. We also use it in here, so we've got exercise groups running right here. We have a Tai Chi group on a Wednesday, we have a general exercise group. And again in the evening it's quite popular for a meeting room. And Monday evening, there's the Vauxhall area youth group meets here as well. So, that's sort of a community space as well. Nice big mural of the plantation garden there. Um, we're looking to have some building work done here, and we are talking to the plantation garden about whether they can make use of that mural for their own sort of purposes in the future. So, we've come to the other side of the uh, 
Sussex room here, and then just followed down to the end. Another bathroom, reading room here, which we call the Phoenix room. Nice bright space again. Um, probably hold about a dozen people or so. The same. Um, so we are a centre for adults with physical disabilities, amongst other things. So we've got our hoist etc. equipment here, uh, and then we have our two. Facilities available for wheelchair users here. Um, that's a shower that some people use with their carers as well. It's a fairly basic one, but again, people can't get the facility at home. They sometimes come with their carer, and we can make that arrangement just so it's a bit easier for them, really. Um, that's probably the end of the building with the far end. This is my cupboard here. Um, there we have a physio space for where we have a sort of physio assistant come in and do some things and behind there we have a stained glass workshop which is available for our members to use. Um,